Welcome to the Jesper Office Sit-Stand Desk Assembly video. Your sit-stand desk arrives in three boxes. Box 1 contains the desktop and modesty panel. Box 2 holds the legs, motor, and hardware. And Box 3 includes three cable management trays. You will need your own Phillips head screwdriver and an Allen key wrench. The Allen key wrench is included in Box 2 with the screws, hardware, and a printed copy of the assembly instructions all of which are packed with the motor, wires, and legs. To begin assembly, use your Phillips head screwdriver to remove the four screws that attach the modesty panel to the desktop. Once the screws are out, remove the modesty panel from the desktop. Also, remove the red bag taped to the desktop containing two wooden grommets, which you will need to save for later. Step 1. Grab Part C. Notice that each leg has a bracket on the side. This bracket will be used to mount the modesty panel. Place the leg on the floor. Now grab part B. This will be the base of the leg. Align the holes on part B with the holes on part C. Using screws A, hand tighten with your Allen key. Here you will use four screws for each base. Remember to tighten only by hand. Next, grab two of the four levelers. These parts resemble hockey pucks. Screw one in by hand tightly to each side of the base. Repeat this step to assemble the second base. Step two, the base has four holes on the bottom. Align the four holes of the base with the holes on the frame. For this part, use screws B. Use the extension tube or part I of the hardware to help guide in the screw. Screw in all four sides. Remember, only tighten by hand. Repeat this step on the opposite side of the desk with the other leg, so your desk now looks like this. Notice the side of the legs with no brackets face the curve, and the side with the brackets face the straight end of the desktop. Step 3. Use the pre-drilled holes found on either side of the desktop to mount the control box. You may choose either side to mount the box. Here you will use screws F to tighten the control box. Tightly screw in all four sides so the box is secure. Step 4. Here we will install the wiring. In your package you will receive three cables. Two of them are for the legs and the other is the up and down button. We'll start with the button. The ends of the wires have pins and a small groove. Match the groove with the notch in the control box to connect. The button should connect to the RC port. The other two cables have the same end on both sides. Connect the longer cable to port marked LA2. Then connect the short cable to the port marked LA1. Then reach for the longest wire and drag it over to the farthest leg. Match the pins and the groove to the port on the bottom of the base and connect. Then grab the shorter cable and connect to the bottom of the base on the nearest leg. Now grab the two G screws and align the holes on the button with the pre-drilled holes found on either side of the desktop. Now this part is very important. Make sure you do not screw in too tightly. Screw in just enough so that the fit is snug. If you screw in too tightly, it may cause a short on your button, causing your desk to not function correctly. Step 5. Grab all the plastic caps from your hardware, parts D and E. Use part E, which is the squared cap, to cover the four corners of the frame. Use part D to cover the rest of the holes in the frame. Now it's time to install your wire management. Notice the cables are folded and tucked within the frame. Take part H and fasten it using the pins on the frame. Now take part G and tuck it under part H so that part G is in the middle of the frame. Now mount the second part H. Use the grooves on the sides to pass the cable through. Use the self-adhesive cable clips marked K on the hardware to control the wiring. Simply peel off the film on the white side and then stick wherever you see fit. You may use this clip for any of the wires. 
For this assembly demonstration, we use the clip for the control button wire. Step 8. Now it's time to mount the modesty panel. Simply slide it into the brackets on the legs shown earlier in this video. Now press down firmly so that it snaps into place. Next, take the saved wooden grommets and slide them into the holes on the desktop. You do not need to hammer them in. Step 9. Now we will reset your desk. Press both buttons at the same time and hold for a couple seconds until the desk completely lowers. This is the most important step and should not be skipped. If you do not reset your desk, it will cause malfunctions when in use. Congratulations! You have completed the assembly of your sit-stand desk. You may now enjoy it standing up or sitting down. Thank you for purchasing a Jesper Office product. Please visit our website at www.jesperoffice.com. Like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel.